Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Just completed uh, modifying my Furman generator from Costco. It's a tri-fuel one. Uh, it came bonded from the factory, right? And I just added that neutral bonding switch. Um, the reason behind it is that I just installed a interlock system in my main. And now that I have an interlock, I have to uh, make this uh, generator unbonded. So hang tight. Let me show that to you in the basement. Here it is, my brand new uh, interlock system on my main. Of course, I got some warnings in there, stickers and so on. And here's my old one, right? Uh, yeah, pretty ha been pretty happy with this, but uh, this is the way to go. Hang tight, I'll show you how to modify that uh, generator, make it uh, unbonded and bonded uh, by using a switch. Doing a uh, quick modification on my Costco tri-fuel generator, right? The main purpose is to have the ability to get this bonded, the neutral bonded to the frame and also unbonded. So I'm actually going to do a uh, toggle switch my for basement. it. Here's my uh, setup right here. I got the um, my manual transfer switch. And of course, as you know, when you're setting this up, you set it up like a sub panel. And of course it's not bonded. And here's my main, just added that uh, interlock system, right? So um, I'm not gonna tear this down, this entire setup or remove this um, transfer switch because it'll, it will, my future plan for it is for um, attaching a um, solar panel system onto that. And again, when you're connecting to the main, you want that generator uh, unbonded, meaning the neutral is not bonded to the ground. And of course, when I connect it here, uh, again, this is like set up as a sub panel and therefore it, this is not bonded. And that's when you flip the switch on the generator and uh, bond that neutral with ground. Um, my old man always told me, uh, you should only have one bonded neutral in your electrical system, right? So the main, again, uh, that it's bonded and any other panels in your home or electrical system should be unbonded. So anyway, this is also uh, an interlock system, right? So it actually disconnects it from the main. Second one. Here we go, let's take it off. Let's take a closer look. You can see it right here, that's your chassis or ground, and this is your neutral wire right here. So it is a bonded neutral. All I have to do is to make this a floating neutral or to unbond it is to undo this screw right here. And as you can see, the neutral wire right here, this is your neutral. Just take off the nut right here, take off this wire. And then I'll attach my uh, whip right here and this one right here. So again, undo this in ultimately taking off this wire right here and uh, make this unbonded. And then of course with that toggle switch, I could easily go to bonded and unbonded, AKA floating neutral. Here's that wire that I took off. I'm gonna reuse this and redo my uh, whip and uh, cause I don't have this ring um, connector. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and uh, again, use it for my whip. Hang tight. All crimped up. Here it is, final whip, right? Um, this switch is rated uh, waterproof, but uh, I'm gonna use this liquid electrical tape anyway. Play some right there, those connectors, right? It's good to go. Let's get uh, this installed on the uh, generator. Let's put them in the center. Be right here.
I'm scared. How about that? Beauty, looks like it belongs. Reconnect the wires, right? Now I'm gonna use, shove this in the same path. And just zip tie it. All right, we'll do for now. This, we'll just go right here. Okay, that looks good. I'll go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll do some testing. Make sure it's actually bonded and unbonded status. Putting the cover back on, right? Take a look. That rubber right there. All right, let's do a uh, quick continuity testing, right? This is uh, unbonded and bonded. Here we go. Neutral, and you know what, put it at the bottom. Neutral and ground. Here we go. Bonded, unbonded. Bonded, unbonded. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. Another successful project.